Yo, what's up everyone? It's your boy Chris Purpose back again with another Gems of War new mythic video for you guys. So the new mythic troop Bieska is now exclusive to Glory, Gem, Guild and VIP chess for one week only. So we're going to take our luck out the box as we said before and try to get a copy of the new mythic. Alright, so let's go down to the troop menu right here and we're going to go down to Unowned. And there he is. Bieska is a Demon Erska from Erskaya with a 24 mana cost of green, red, and brown. His spell is Raging Spirits. He's going to deal magic plus 3 damage to 3 random enemies boosted by enraged allies and then he will gain enrage. Um, the spell doesn't look so, you know, special, but we're going to try our best and put together a team once we are able to procure a copy or two of this new mythic. Alright, so we are going to go ahead and check global. And there it is, global chat. Um, guildmates are picking it up as well. All right, so let's head over to our keys right here. We're going to start off with our guild seals as usual. And um, yeah, we usually pop some gold keys. Let's do that first. I always want to pop some gold keys, man. You know how it is. All right, let's pop about... Yeah, that's enough. All right, let's get out of here. Go over to our guild seals. We have about 24,785. We're going to be going... 50 chests at a time here. Let's see if we get a little bit lucky this time around. Last couple times, it hasn't been so good. We've been stressed so as to pick up a copy, but, you know, maybe our luck changes. Um, I think I have a decent amount of keys. Either way, I think I must get this Mythic. Um, you know, we got to catch them all. Got to have them all. So I'm going to try my best to see if we can get this. There we go. There we go. Bieska. We all have one copy, man. All right, can I go for two copies? I'm going to try. Um, if I don't get it on video, hopefully I get it off video. You know how that is. All right, let's keep it going, man. Come on. Hopefully I get it all from Guild Seals, and I can save my other resources um, for maybe a different Mythic. I don't know if there's going to be another one that's going to be good this year, because I think the best Mythic this year was Takshaka so far. Maybe we will pick up a copy of, um, you know, another copy of the Void Dragon. I don't think I have two copies of the Void Dragon. I think I need another copy. Um, maybe in the Soul Forge or something, but uh, that was another decent Mythic. I wouldn't call it good. It's, it's a little bit above average. Takshaka is an amazing Mythic, so she's on a level by herself. But uh, yeah, it's going to be a struggle here. It doesn't look like it's going to be popping from the Guild Seals. All right, we're under 10,000 right now. If I don't get it with this, I'm not going to use any other resources. It's not such a mythic that I'm going to need like two or three copies now. I think one copy is fine until he pops up in the Soul Forge. Or until I Earth Sky a week, and then I can probably roll some keys and see if I can get it from event keys. But you know how it is. All right, uh, we're under 5,000 now. Let's just finish these up. And then we're going to go and make a team. Come on, baby. Maybe it's going to be in the last 2,000. Never know. Let's see. Come on. Trash. <laughs> Trash. Nothing good. All right, there we go. Let's just pop the last 785. I've gotten Mythics in this low level as well, so one copy is good for me. All right, so that's it. Got a copy. We're going to head over here. See if we can make some team. Yeah, we're not going to buy any offers here. So what team can I replace here? Um, all right, let's, let's replace this team right here. All right, let's remove that, remove that, remove that, remove that. Let's go grab the new Mythic. He is an Erska. I think he should be upgradable right now. So there he is. Let's see if we can get him his second trait. Then we're going to move over to... Giving him his final trait. And then finally, let's upgrade that sucker all the way. Good. And I'm going to meddle the troop as well. Um, yeah, I've been trying to do as much as possible when it comes down to meddling troops. And there we go. Fully gold medal. Let's get him on the team. All right. So let's take a look at the troop here. So for one, the troop is a daemon. So no way possible that we can half mana start that troop. Not going to be pa possible there. Um... It is a Urska though, so you can give the sucker a 50% mana start from Urskula, which is the 
legendary Erska that gives all Erskas a 50% mana start. Hmm. And it enrages as well. So it's a good way to boost that troop. So all right, let's let's go ahead and grab Urscula. That's a good option. She's an Urska. And Urscula, where are you? I got some work for you now. There she is. All right, so we have that down so far. And now we need something to generate, possibly for the hero. Uh, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. What could I go for here? Possibly I could go with... How about, how about, how about... How about... I'm thinking, I'm thinking here. How about going down the Geomancer route? So we're going to go with Geomancer here. At least for the first team. So we're going to go with Geomancer. And I'm going to go the simple route when it comes on to weapons. Um, there's a number of different routes that you can go down. I'm going to pick for for the first option. I'm going to go with Mountain Crusher. I think the Mountain Crusher could be really good on this since the troop uses brown mana. Um, and we have a boost ratio there. How can we get this to do more damage though? So since I have that class, let's go ahead and grab something that's very popular in the game, which is going to be the Empress. Empress is usually really good in buffing up troops, ensuring that they're very strong. So we are going to place um, Bieska at the back of the back of the team, Mount Crusher at the top, and then we're going to go with a green and brown banner here. Green brown banner. This should work. The rat banner from the Dark Pits. Um, faction. This is a plus two on brown, plus one on green, and then we're minusing, um, we're minusing blue, right? No blue troops on the team. All right, watch I name this, this team here. Uh, I'm going to name it, um, Scare Bear. <laughs> How about that? Scare Bear. One word. Yeah, Scare Bear should do it. There we go. All right, so where are we going to test this team now? How about testing it in Urskaya? Right, that should be a good kingdom. And now uh, where is that Scare Bear team? Come on up, Scare Bear. There we go. All right, let's rush in. Let's see if we can make this work. So one of the reasons why I selected the Geomancer class is because the Geomancer class will give all constructs a 50% mana start, which will allow my Empress to get spell ready very quickly, as you guys can see. Like, that was super fast. All right, as you can, as can see as well, this troop has the ability of, um, of terrifying or inflicting terror on the enemies whenever you match four or more gems. So you want to try to do that as much as possible. I right, didn't pick up a kill with the cast. Explode some gems. I think we didn't have the boost ratio. That's, that's the reason. We didn't have the boost. We need to cast this first. There we go. Now go for it. Now we got it. There we go. All right, one more hit should do it. There we go. Yeah, so I needed to cast Urskula first. That was a main thing. All right, let's try it again. Let's hop back into this. All right, so our first assignment is, of course, match brown. Get the weapon powered up. Go for the explosion. Get everybody else spell ready. Didn't work out that time. All right, let's try it again. Oh, no, we can, we can go ahead and cast this. Then go for the explosion again. There we go. Nice. So we get the Enrage. Now let's take a look at the boost ratio. Just plus eight? That's it? Come on, man. That's trash. Plus eight, bro. Come, that's booty cheeks, man. Come on. All right, let's see what we can do here. It's better. I got two casts of the Empress, though. So that's... It's, it's it's not as if it was doing that damage by itself, but bro, plus eight, that's kind of that's weak as hell. <laughs> it's weak as hell. All right, let's uh maybe we can switch up the weapon instead of going down the um instead of going down the mountain crusher route. How about going with the wand of stars? Let's see how the wand of stars does here. Staff, go all the way to the bottom, and we should get it. There it is. And let me take a look at the class here. I think the class needs to be adjusted. Yeah, I need that I need that rock solid. Yep. Keep the hero protected at all times. Let's go. Let's try it out this way. 
All right, this should allow the weapon to get spell ready very, very quickly. There we go, nice. Come on, baby. Ah, uh, yeah, the wand is... Come on, wand. Usually better than this. <laughs> Striking out on me here, wand. All right, let's go. Enrage. Very little buff to the damage, but I'll still take it. Yeah. Wand, you're letting me down. I think the Mountain Crusher was better. No lies. The Mountain Crusher was way better. Yeah. Yeah, I think I prefer this team with the Mountain Crusher. That first option was much smoother. Um, not a lot of interruptions. The Mountain Crusher produces a storm as well that benefits um, the team. So, yeah, I think I'm going to go with the Mountain Crusher. Um, I wonder, though, if I go with a different class, if it would be a little bit more proficient. The thing is, you want to give your Empress a 50% mana start. But how if I go down the Titan Hero class route? Because you get the Brown Storm at the start. You have the Lightning Strike. You know, all the good things that come with Titan are available. Let's try it out here on this mini boss fight. See how it works out. And as well, if you guys come up with any better teams than what I'm using here, be sure to drop them, man. I'd love to... Do I have the Lightning Strike on here? Do I have the Lightning Strike on? Oh, I selected the wrong class. Stupid ass. <laughs> I selected the wrong class. That's dumb as hell. What the hell? Come on. Right, I'm going to quit this fight. I don't care about the mini boss fight that much. I want to select the right class. That's dumb as hell. How did I do that? All right. There we go. Let's hop back into the fight. <laughs> That's ridiculous, man. Come on. Can't be messing up like that while I'm recording a video here. Come on. Where's my lightning strike, sir? Don't tell me I don't have lightning strike. I do not have light. Bro. What's happening today, man? It seems as if I'm... Maybe maybe I'm recording the video a little bit too late. I must be tired. I must be tired. I'm slipping. All right, so I don't have the lightning strike attached here. All right, let's go again. Come on. Get it together, man. Get it together. What the hell? All right, here we go. Lightning strikes all around. There we go. Now we're talking, man. Now we're talking. Give me that brown storm, sir. I think I have a brown storm for a reason. Barely any brown gems. Empress, you're taking a little bit too long to get spell ready, girl. At least we're moving the enemy troops around somewhat. Um, but at the same time, none of them are running away. It's a good way of applying terror, but a very bad way of, um, of winning quickly. A little splash damage. A little splash damage. Nothing to shout home about. You know. yeah, this troop is uh, meh. And very meh. Maybe you could use it with like a fairy fire to buff it up somewhat. I wonder. How about if I put a, a mass gem destroying troop on the team? So we're going to take off Urskula. And we're going to go and grab... How about... Go, <laughs> let's go grab my boy. Let's go grab my boy, Troll. Troll, Troll, Troll. And see how he does. All right, let's, let's put him right there. And let's go grab the class. Let's go grab back the Geomancer class here. Because we're going to use it for its toughness, right? It has a 50% skull damage reduction. Now we need to change the banner to plus two on Thrall's colors. So how about plus two? And uh, yeah, how about that? How about that? That banner should do it. There we go. Silver banner from Necropolis. Silver Necropolis. Plus two on purple. Plus one on brown. Minus in blue once again. And uh, yeah, this should be much better. Hopefully I can find a, a purple gem quickly on the board. If not, I still have the Mountain Crusher as an option as well. All right, let's, let's get this off. Let's get that off. Let's get that off. And uh, let's match this. All right, so let's cast that. Now thrall it. Cast it again. Now, now the wow, what that's a lot of damage they're trying to hit on me right there. It's crazy. Skull damage reduction, sir. Relax. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. The Empress is really making it look a much look much better, right? But the truth is it's it's not there yet. It's very underwhelming, Mythic. Um Let's 
Let's cast the Empress again. Got one kill. It's okay. It's decent with the Empress, right? Solid with the Empress. Still requires two casts. Wish it was only one, but, you know, take what you get. Take what you get. All right, let's get this purple. Thrall it down, baby. Thrall it down. <laughs> Mr. Thrall is so powerful. Oh, there we go. One sucker ran away. <laughs> ah, bro. I love it to see where they run away, man. That terror is a cool mechanic. It's nice to see. It's kind of, you know, it's like death mark, really. But um, it's still nice to see. All right, let's kill this last enemy out. Do we have any more fights here? All right, we have a couple more fights, and I'm going to end this video, man, and let you all try out this team or these teams. Tell me what you guys think. Um, uh, me, personally, I don't see myself using this mythic over and over and over again. Um, there are a lot of better options all over in every single kingdom, so I use it here and there, but I'm not going to. In certain restrictions out here, didn't even kill. Right, let's go, Mountain Crusher. Did I get my, my magic stolen or something? That was a very weak gem destruction right there. All right, let's go for the kill. Yep. That was the mini boss fight. All right, let's go to a mythic boss. And that will be it. This is going to be a long video. I have to apologize. I don't intend to make these videos long, but, you know, weird things happen. All right, let's go and get some... Can I get purple? now? Nah, let's go crusher. Very little purple gems on the board here. Let's go Crusher again. There we go. Now let's cast the Empress now. That's a weak board. Deal some damage. Oh, there he, there's the Mythic Troop in the battle. Oh, he ran away. <laughs> it, does he not have immunity to, uh, to Terra? He does not. I didn't even pay attention to that. He will apply the negative status effect, and he does, he is not immune to it. That's, that sucks. There we go. <laughs> I made the same mythic troop run away. All right, guys. So that is the the gist for the new mythic Bieska. I don't know. I, I'm not really feeling it, to be honest. Um, very low C. You know, what I'm talking about like C minus. If I was gonna rank this troop. Not not anything good. C minus or a D, to be honest. Um, but you guys tell me what you guys think about the new new troop. Did you get it? Um, and yeah, if you did, what teams are you making with it? Do you think it's any good? Let me know in the comment section. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.